Hello, everybody. Uh, happy Friday. Uh, whether or not you're watching this on Friday is <laughs> right beside the point. Uh, my name is Johnny Anthony Chihak Soltero, sometimes called the anti hero, sometimes called Jax. Um, here with a pretty cool mail call. Um, so these are the most recent books that I submitted to CBCS. Uh, there are two graded and witnessed books in here. These are all my books. So if you're looking for something along the lines of, you know, Hulk 181 or something like that, no. Uh, I don't really do a whole lot of grading other books anymore because I'm not doing resale um, of regular comics. I am still selling my artwork. So these are CBCS books. As you can see, they pack these pretty amazingly. So we're going to do this this way. I almost need to cut through this, but... However, I did pick up, um, or I have a bunch of Anti-Heroverse stickers. So the Anti-Heroverse stickers, uh, I can tab onto the back of this so that those stickers will be, um, ow, just cut my finger, um, will seal the books. So. First ones are gonna be the art books. So I think I do this every single time. With my invoice and like some offer or something like that. This is my sting um uh Grim Knight sketch cover. Uh, first Grim Knight in own title, Origin of Grim Knight, Batman Who Laughs Appearance Only Issue. Um, so this is a piece I did uh, shortly before Sting retired, after he announced his retirement. This is the CM Punk, uh, Department of Truth, uh, Tell Me When I'm Telling Lies cover. Um, on a Department of Truth, um, number 18. I've been doing, like, some more minimal, um, sketch covers lately. So that's why you only get, like, red on this cover and, um, mostly black and white. The Samoa Joe cover. Actually, on a kick-ass number one blank variant, uh, this is actually the first appearance of Patience, the new kick-ass from 2018. Um, I felt kick-ass was an appropriate cover for a Samoa Joe um, book. Then we've got Power uh, from uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number one. Um... So this is from 2016. I don't know why I'm reading that off, but this is, so I wanted to find something that was appropriate for power uh, from Chainsaw Man, my favorite character in one of my favorite animes. And it's like flipping through the blanks and I'm like, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So that's why everything else is crossed off except for power.
And then originally this cover, I was gonna put Sting on it because I thought it was appropriate. Um, but then I thought about it because I've been, I did a sketch of this guy, but then I, th I was just like, this is super appropriate to do Muda, do a Venom cover with Muda on him. Um, and I colored in the, the Venom logo as well. This was a mixture of some like watercolors of, um, uh, and um, I mean, alcohol-based Ohuhu markers, watercolor, uh, brush pen as well. This is the uh, most mixed media one that I have on here. Most of these are uh, brush pen, alcohol markers, and then um, some of them have paint pen. Like the power one has paint pen to cross out uh, the, the words. The Joe is going to kill you has paint pen um, for the... Um, uh, to write Joe is going to kill you. Uh, this, uh, the punk one has paint pen on it as well. The sting one, I think is the only one that doesn't, that's only like brush pen and alcohol marker. So, all right. So these next two are welcome to pleasant falls books that were both signed and remarked and graded. So we're going to show you go nine eight nice okay so witness signature um it doesn't say that i sketched it as well but that's right there i did like a blood remark um i think they may not have listed it just because they didn't like it doesn't look like there's a sketch anywhere on it but you get a little bit of blood splatter that i put on there as well um, it says EC homage cover as well. So nice. It, the last one didn't say that. And this is the second one. Same same cover. Another 9.8. Nice. Okay. So I've got 199, a blue label. Didn't sign that one. But I've got, uh, now I've got two 9.8 uh, witness signatures. And both say EC homage cover. Uh, welcome to Pleasant Falls cover art and story, John Anthony Chihak Soltero, uh, Anti Hero Verse 2023. Welcome to Pleasant Falls, no number because there's it's not part of an ongoing series. Um, and the SIG right there, the like uh, hardcore um, New York, uh, like old punk logo SIG. That's how I'm signing stuff now. Um, just pretty cool. I'm pretty. I'm pretty pleased with these. So, yeah, these everything in here is going to be for sale. Um, I haven't decided what the the Welcome to Pleasant Falls are going to go for, but nine eights, I'm happy with that because you know, like when you get witness signatures and stuff like that, people like to have them at like a higher grade, and so these are the highest grade signatures that I've got because um, I've got the remarked. Um, the signed and remarked copies of issue number two and issue number three, and the highest grade I got out of those was a nine two. I got a nine two, a nine, and two eight fives. Um, so it's kind of cool that that the these two is like a hardier card stock, so or cover stock. So I think that's one of the reasons why you don't have like bends and ticks and stuff like that. But seven books back, five art label books, uh, two like not identical because i mean the signatures are a little bit different and the blood patterns are a little bit different on um brother burger's face and there's some more splatter like i actually yeah the blood splatter on his costume or on his jacket is a little bit different as well so people can totally get something that cool from me, you know, signed in and kind of remarked, but not really, because it's not like an image. It's just some dots and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's my mail call. I'm really happy with those grades. Um, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And uh, till next time, uh, next mail call or next announcement or whatever, um, you guys take care.